We're at the Tiso Style Lounge with Kimball Walker, the all-star from the Charlotte Hornets. Please tell me where, about where we're at and how much this means to you to have all-star in your hometown. Man, it's, it's just a real feeling. Um, but I'm excited. Uh, it means a lot to me to represent this city, uh, represent my, my organization. Um, it's going to be fun, man. I mean, I know everybody's kind of looking to me um, for the, about the whole weekend, but no, I'm, I'm ready for it. Well, you play for the most iconic man in, in, in basketball right now. Give me your favorite Michael Jordan story that you have so far because <laughs> it would be amazing for me to have Michael Jordan at the end of my bench watching me play, giving yeah. me pointers. Yeah, all the time, man. That's, that's my guy. Um, I'm definitely blessed to have a great relationship with him. Um, but my, my, my best and favorite is when I was, uh, when I was a rookie. Um, he pulled me, he pulled me to the side, pulled me to the office, and you know, he, he, he basically told me, you know, to, to play the way he drafted me to play. Um, you know, I didn't want to, I was a young kid, I didn't want to step on anybody's toes or try to do too much, you know, uh, you know, just trying to show respect to the older, the older guys, but I think he kind of sensed that, you know, kind of broke me out of my shell. Now, we all grew up watching the All-Star game and, and wanting to play this game that we love so much. Did you ever see yourself actually being here and, and being an All-Star? No. No. Um, yeah, if I, if I said yes, I would most definitely be lying. But um, to be an All-Star, man, I mean, when I got named to my first one, I was I was super excited. Um, you no know, tears came to my eyes just because I couldn't. It was just not even a real feeling. So. No, just the hard work has really paid off in my career. So, um, yeah, it's, it's always special every time I get named All-Star. Now, T Tiso is the official watch of the NBA and the official watch of All-Star Weekend. Yeah. Now, I see you got a fresh watch on you. Yeah. How, how important how important is a watch to your style? Uh, a watch is pretty important, man. And, you know, Tiso did an amazing job. Bless me with this watch right here. Uh, I'm excited. I mean, I'm excited to add it to my wardrobe, but um, yeah, you know, I love having little accessories on, so this is one that I would definitely get, get added. Now, you're a part of All-Star Weekend right now, and we have an historic moment because we have two NBA champions who are having their last All-Star Weekend with D-Wade and Dirk. Yep. Do you have any distinct memories of, over your career playing against these guys? Um, Man, I know for sure D-Wade, man. Um, a few years back, we played against him in, um, here in Charlotte, Game 6 in the playoffs, and he just went into old-fashioned D-Wade, man. It was it was really heartbreaking. Um, he had two huge threes. He had he hadn't hit a three-pointer in like since like December, and um, he had two big ones on us, man. I was super pissed, but at the same time, man, you know, when, whenever you get a chance to, to to witness greatness, man, you 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 gotta you gotta embrace it, and I and I did that. It was it was, it was special. All right, now um, please explain to me what the city of Charlotte means to you this is a, your, your only nba team mm -hmm. it has embraced you i was in my car coming here and the driver said oh kimba's at the tso <laughs> store tell her i'm from from connecticut he means the world to our city please tell me what charlotte means to you oh uh, man charlotte charlotte means a lot um you know this place has allowed me to to grow as a player to grow as a man um allowed me to play through my mistakes early in my career you know they could have easily you know, lost faith in me and my team. Um, but they embrace me. They embrace us um, throughout my eight years here. And it's been it's been nothing but love. And, um, you know, I'm I'm able to you know, I'm able to walk around here and you know be be somewhat normal um, and not really be overwhelmed by fans, which I love the most about the the fans out here. And last but not least, we all have our favorite NBA players of all time. Who sits on your Mount Rushmore? Um, damn. It's a lot. I um, got to give you your first one. You got to say oh, MJ. No question. Right, you, no you, question. I'm going to get you in no trouble when you go back. So you <laughs> got to say MJ. MJ is number one on there. No, Let's go. MJ for sure. Um, MJ, Braun, Kobe, Shaq. On oh, mines. This is mines. I know people, people might get a little upset about <laughs> it's, this. It's all, listen, it's all relative. It's um, all personal. You, you you deserve to have your own person that you AI. want on there. Oh, of course. You can't argue. Yeah. AI. AI yeah. is one of the, the toughest most competitive people that I've yeah. ever played against but the fastest people I've ever played against yeah. that, that he deserves to be on that yeah, list no today. question that's my guy that's yeah. what's up well thank you Tiso thank you at NBA All-Star Weekend and thank you Fox Sports